insurance company that you're on that policy? Can you give me your details? Under what section do you want my details? I have to check you are insured. You know it's insured, you've right. seen my insurance policy. Because they'll have a list of people who are insured in that policy. Yeah, it's my own policy, it's my personal right. policy. It's your policy? It's my personal policy. Oh, okay. <coughs> if you don't know the fucking legislation, that's not my problem, is it? Speaking to your insurance company, yeah, okay, um, they're unable to give me details or confirm any policies unless I have your details for data protection. Right. All right. Are you, able, are you going to provide me those details? Under GDPR, yeah, they can't supply you with details. Okay. Under GDPR, yeah, well, they can. You've got the policy number, but they're refusing to confirm with me because they can't confirm I'm with you. Well, they confirm so, there's a policy number, but I've asked you what section do you want to see my details. 
I can ask you your details. Okay, there's section of law to ask you your details. You there is. Under section 163 of the road traffic I've been act. stopped under section okay. 163 of the road traffic so act, 1988. Yes. If you're, you're refusing to give. I'm not details. refusing to give my details. Okay. I'm asking you under what section of the road traffic act, 1988, you wish to see my details. Okay. You just hate the fact that you don't know simple fucking legislation. It's not a fucking hard, mate. Section 163, I have to stop. When required to, by a constable in uniform or a traffic officer, I have fucking abided by section 163. You need to know one more fucking section, and you have a choice of two. Section 164 and section 16 fucking five. Like, seriously. <clears throat> Surrey police need a fucking education. Especially as a traffic officer. this until he comes back. So he's called another unit apparently. I never said I wasn't going to give details, as I've asked him nearly four times. I want to know what section under the Road Traffic Act he wants to see them. Well, he's already given those details, has he not? No. Chris, tell him what section under the Road Traffic Act you want to give the details. That's what he wants to know. Section 163 of the Road Traffic Act. Right. He's got right. the power to stop you on the road and obtain your details. Section 163 gives yeah, you the power to stop power. me. I'm not debating that power to you. Right, so you do... I'm, I'm requesting the details under. Under okay. se and you, so, under section 163 of the Road Traffic Act 1988, you are requesting my details. So, you do not know the legislation you are working under, because section 163 does not give you the power to request my details. You're committing a moving traffic offence for a start. Right, under section 163, no, I'm required I've, I've to... I have about that. I've just said to you, you're committing back a moving traffic offence. Therefore, the fact you're committing a moving traffic offence gives me the power to identify who you are, uh, for us to deal with you accordingly. Um, obviously you've got no door panels on the inside, I can see that. So, um, you've committed a moving traffic offence based on the fact that your registration is not clearly visible at the front of the vehicle at the most visible point. Um, and my colleague stopped you for other reasons, so there we go. With the greatest respect, if we get on and just deal with this quite amicably, quite quickly, you can get on your way, we can get on our way, and job done. If not, you 
just going to waste a lot of your own time if I'm perfectly honest. And as me, as a human, as a free person of this country, I'm abiding by the legislation I am put under, which has section 163, I have stopped. That is all I am liable to do under section 163. You committed a moving traffic offence, you're entitled to provide your details to us, my friends. Under what section? Off the top of my head, I couldn't tell you, but... So sure. you don't know the legislation that you are working under? It's not because I don't know the legislation. So I explain to I me how... I can't you the exact point, exact, etc, etc. The fact of the matter is, the law right. exists. Okay, section 163 of the Road Traffic Act 1988 states that any person driving a motor vehicle must, when requested to, by a constable yeah. or officer in uniform or traffic officer, yeah. must stop their vehicle. Yeah. That is the end of section 163. Okay. Now, as a lesson from a normal person to two traffic officers, yeah. section 164 of the Road Traffic Act 1988 yeah. requires to me, on request, by a traffic officer or constable, to provide my details. Yeah. So what section under the Road Traffic Act would this gentleman like my details? You need to ask me, don't you? I'm just telling you apparently you, you commit a moving traffic offence, therefore we need to establish who you are in order to progress that. Okay? And I've just told you what section. Sorry? So under what section of the Road Traffic Act what? would you or this gentleman like to see my details? You need to speak to my colleague. At the end of the day, he's asking for your details. So. If you're saying you know the law and everything else, that's great, and you're saying you need to provide them under section 164, then I don't know why you've been quite so obstructive. Because I'm holding you to the legislation that I am put under that you have to work by. It's not that hard for this gentleman to now say to me that he wants to see my details under section 164 of the Road Traffic Act. Is it or is it not? Somebody calling me at the same time. Okay. Um, so, section 164 absolutely requires the power of a constable to provide, or you uh, requires, requires you me to provide on request by a constable in the uniform. So, why, why, why are we going around the circus here? Why? Right. Are we just being quite so. Why? Right, because I'm part of a very small line of people yeah. that are holding you to account. Well, that's absolutely The, fine. the fact that you that. are a traffic officer, this other gentleman judging by his white hat is also a Surrey traffic officer yeah so if a member of the public yeah. can know most of the pace most of the anti-terrorism laws and most of the traffic and section laws that I need to know while driving a motor vehicle yeah. why can a traffic officer not well, it's not a question of not it's a question of remembering lots of different things and, and uh, certain, on, on an certain every certain have different memories, on an they? everyday traffic stop all you need to remember is section 163 164 and 165 it is not difficult. Okay. I am just holding you to account. You, you. The problem is, yes. is Met, Surrey, Essex, Devon and Cornwall, Hampshire. They all think because they're in a uniform yep. or a fancy dress costume to me yep. that they can say and do and ask for whatever they want whenever they want. I am just holding you to account no, no, to the legislation. But there again, I don't believe that you've been asked for anything outside of what's been required. So therefore, I've, what, what is under the section 163, obviously you can't jump out of your car and say to me, under section 163, I want you to stop. He has clearly given me signal that he is an officer. I have followed. I have stopped. Yep. That is me done on section 163. Lovely. All he needed to require to do is to walk up and said, on the section 163, I've stopped you for committing a moving road violation. Not a problem. Under section 164 or 165, whatever yep. one you want to choose, yep. I require to see your details. He would be shown my driving license. End of jobs done. Okay, all right. 
So if it comes and says that you're giving your driving license, you give details, yeah? Yes, because I'm acquired to by the legislation. No, well then that's fine. I, okay, I. You may you're think this. Doing, you you're may just think doing a certain thing out of principle, which I understand. Yeah, but but let me let me say this. You may think this is strange. You may think it's odd. You may think it's suspicious. No, it's, no, it's he fine. may find if it odd and suspicious. To do certain things. Oh, thank however, you. Exactly. But however, the next time you come across someone like me that asks you for a section or that gentleman for a section, yeah. it'll be it'll be in your brain. I remember someone like this. So under section one six four, can I have your details? You'll be showing my driving license or giving my name and address, whatever is required. Sure. And whatever I have on me at I the time. I don't give a rough. I fully understand what you're saying. All right. At the end of the day. I'm not here to argue. No, right. nor am I. I just want, you know, for me, it's not teaching you a lesson, but it makes it easier on you the next time you come across someone that knows legislation like I do. So you get someone... Yeah, lots of people know lots of different things, don't we? Right? Yeah, so that's you know, but as your um, job, as fact, my job as a mechanic, I know what I need to do. Yeah. I know that the, the laws involved, the safety involved. I know what can happen if it goes wrong. Yeah. Same as you. You should know the simple aspects to a traffic stop because if something goes wrong and you end up in court because you failed to follow legislation. Well, I don't think you failed to follow legislation. Because we can because we, if we, you. We, if, if, reasons why and where and everything. You're well, saying I'm, I'm failing to give details. You then smash my window and drag me out the car, arrest me, take me to a station. Yeah. Then it gets NFA'd because, well, you find my details, you find out I'm insured, you find out this is MOT'd, it's taxed. Yeah. It was going for an MOT at half nine, which is now not going to happen. Um, I can then sue you for criminal damage, false arrest, and false imprisonment. Okay. Well, that's, that's about another, 20 grand in my pocket for the simple day, really, simple thing right. of section 163, um, 164, or 165. You are going to have to open your door, just purely and simply because, from what I'm seeing, you've got no door trim panel on there. And under under uh, PG9 and dangerous uh, condition of motor vehicle, that will come under it. So we're if there's a sharp edge, progression. there is no sharp edge. Sorry? Under a sharp edge, there okay. is no sharp edge. <laughs> Let me go get the books for you on that one, and you can read that one, all right? In the meantime, my colleague will explain 164 and require your driving license. No problem. Okay, so I suspect you've committed a road traffic offence, namely, at the moment, no insurance and your number plate, okay? You've been pulled over section 163. Section 164 also gives you the power to ask for your driving license in relation to that offence on the road, so I can verify your details. Yep. Okay. Mm, not a can problem. You that? Of course I can. Thank you. Okay. I don't, is that okay? I don't have to give it to you. Let me take a photo and I can call the insurer and that's, get all that bottomed out. That's fine by me. Right. Your driving license, um, is that where your insurance policy is registered to? 
It should be, yeah. Yeah. It should um, be. What first name are you going by? That is my first name. The Mal is it Malza? Balza. Balza. Yeah, that and is my first name. And is it the middle name I just wanna drift? Yeah. That's the middle, but is that do you just go as Balza? Yeah, I go as Balza, yeah. Balza. Yeah. Balza. yeah. try and get their own back on a PG9. <clears throat> He's looking through his book. As I remember, PG9, no door cards, has to have sharp edges. Yo. I'm 667, road traffic cat, gives me the power to test and inspect motor vehicles. Yep. Okay, um, can you please kindly open your driver's door so I can inspect that driver's door panel to make sure there are no sharp edges in order for it to be, um, force harm or something. Theoretically, should you be involved in a collision, obviously the fact that the door panel itself, okay, would offer more protection to you and offer you less likelihood of a severe injury. Obviously, it depends upon the severity of a collision, and I get that, and I fully understand <laughs> that. All right? Because then, if you get T-boned, it's going to hurt regardless. Exactly. All right? So, to have a door panel on here um, is purely and simply for a protection purpose. The fact that you know it is a good start. Good That's record. why there's no door panel. Why? Because you've got a problem. Because I couldn't points. open it. And it's going for an MOT today. So for an MOT, I need the door to open well, inside absolutely. and out. So that's why the door card isn't on it. It's still at the garage where obviously this is now going for an MOT. So the door card was going to be back on. And 
sort of the number plate sorted because that was on the floor this morning. Like I think someone's here, you know. Um, that's about it with this van. It looks a steak, but it's what it is, isn't it? Yeah, you know, it's cheap shitty run around. You it's know, just made to be, isn't it? Most of the time when I'm not sitting for half hour. <laughs> so where are you going again? Uh, in Collier's Wood. Deer Park Lane, where the Met Traffic, Met Traffic Unit is. Oh, up down? Yeah. Oh, okay. I think in Collier's Wood. That's not local, is it? No, that's Met. It's around the corner from the Met Traffic Unit. Um, yeah, no, so the door card is... Well, I literally got the door finished at about half eleven last night. So, door opens, I just... <laughs> Where's the MOT? The MOT was in a minute's time. In a minute's time? <laughs> yeah. I do work for him, so it's kind of like, it's booked, but it's kind of like, yeah, do MOT the van tomorrow. He's like, yeah, do it about half nine when you get it. All right, yeah. Is the MOT out there? No, I think it's got like six days or something. Was it? So we're doing our feeling. I'm currently staying with my partner because her dad's just died. Okay. Shit happens. Well, it's a natural course of life, unfortunately, isn't it? Yeah. You know, regardless of what way you want to look at things, it's, yeah. it's what happens. So you, I think you're not a carpenter then? No, it was the guy that originally had the van. The clutch went on it. Uh, clutch pedal box went on it. Um, it needed tyres, front pads. Needed a few bits and obviously the bill weighed up to more than he wanted to spend so in the end he said to the guy who I worked with, he was like, do you want to just take the van? So he had the van, I'd done the clutch and the fork and the pedal box, everything else and then yeah, bringing it up, getting it ready for an MOT, in door cable snaps, can't open the door, great. So sorted that out. Cool. Right, okay, I'll let you finish off. No worries, do it, buddy. See how simple that is? Comes in with his little card. He's got his little card to, you know, under whatever it was, 67 or some shit, to look at my vehicle. No problem. Open the door, you can look at my vehicle. I ain't getting out, I'm not taking my belt off. Not turning the engine off, I have no legal requirement to. And there we go, simple as that. Suddenly realised I'm not a cunt. I don't know what I'm fucking doing. So now I'm just waiting for matey to deal with the fucking insurance and all that shit. And then hopefully, half hour later or whatever, we can get the fuck to work. Hopefully. Oh well. But lights are jarring my eyes at the moment, Jesus. But hey ho, what do you know? Oh, see what happens. Oh. Back, all right. <laughs> what a surprise. Waiting for the insurance to call back.
up. Fuck me, free traffic units, all for me. Fuck me, really? Yeah, three of them. Got one in front that stopped me. I've got two BMWs behind. Fuck you know. There's one. And there's the second one. Jesus. <laughs> Love it. I've got the insurer on the line at the moment, they're on hold. Um, you want to know what the purpose of your journey is? I'm going to work. You're going to work, so you're commuting? Yeah, I'm going to from work. From home to work? From my partners to work. Right, uh, from my partners to work.
give me my ticket for failing to display a number plate. Let me get on that fucking way. Oh, really? Insurance is confirmed. Yep. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Um, we're cautioning you, so you don't have to say anything. You know, no harm in the fence. You don't mention when questions something you should later on in court. If you do say, you may be given evidence. Okay. Um, you're not under arrest. Okay. You're entitled to free and independent legal advice. Okay. And you're, um, you're not being detained. Okay. Um, I'm reporting you for the consideration of the question of prosecuting you for the offence of not displaying a front number plate. Okay. You don't have to say anything, but it may harm your defence. You can mention now something which you're late right in court, and you say may be given evidence. All right. In layman's terms, simple terms, is I'm giving you a, a fixed penalty notice for the no number plate attached to the front of your car. Okay. That's that for you. Hundred pounds. Okay. Lovely. No points. If you choose to pay it within 28 days under section two, there to tell how to pay it. Yep. At the bottom section three, you can contest it if you wish, as is your right. Yep. Okay. You can do so. If you choose to just make a paper aeroplane and throw it out of the way, get rid of it, basically, that's what I've reported you to court for, so you can be summoned to court in relation to that offence. Yep, that's Any fine. Any questions? Uh, no, I was just going to... No, no questions. I was just going to say that it fell off this morning. I oh, come out, morning. it was on the floor, I tried to stick it back on, but it wasn't sticking, so... Okay, well... I've put it where it is to get to work to get it fixed. If you wish to contest it, go to court, I'll use that, it's entirely up to you. Yep. Right, as is your right. Yep, I All will right, do. Have a good day. Have a good day. Well done. So, what, 50 minutes of my life dealing with them. And £100 fine for no front number plate, apparently. So, I shall, I shall be going to court because front number plate is there as it fell off. There is the unit that stopped me originally. So, yeah. I shall go to court and enjoy contesting this shit. And this is why you don't bow down to them. Go by the laws, go by the legislation, hold them to account, and just waste nearly an hour of their fucking day as well. Whoop whoop!